Hi, I'm Dr. David McKenzie, an infectious diseases physician at Research Medical Center, and I'm excited to be with you today to discuss considerations for gathering safely during the holiday season. We will also talk about some similarities and differences between COVID and influenza. This Thanksgiving season is going to be unique. There are a number of factors that need to be taken into consideration by families who are planning Thanksgiving gatherings. We're in a period uh, when the number of cases of COVID in the community is skyrocketing, not just locally, but nationally. So we need to be very careful to try to reduce the risk of acquiring COVID. COVID is highly contagious one of the most risky activities for acquiring COVID is being indoors with other individuals who potentially could be contagious even if they don't have any symptoms. So if you have members of your household and you are able to account for their whereabouts at all time and you're certain that they are following safe practices such as wearing masks when they're out in public, socially distancing and washing their hands frequently, then you can feel comfortable being with those individuals in your household. If, there, if you have a gathering where there are people from outside your household, you need to consider that they are contagious until proven otherwise. And that means wearing a mask, staying at least six feet away from people, and uh, when possible, staying outdoors rather than indoors. Certain people are at higher risk for complications from COVID. The older a person is, the higher their risk of landing in the hospital for prolonged periods of time. Also, people who have uh, underlying health conditions such as cancer or a transplant or have um, an end-stage renal disease needing dialysis are at much higher risk and should be very cautious to reduce their chances of being exposed to COVID. If a person is exposed to someone who has COVID, then that person needs to quarantine for 14 days. This is based on the known incubation period of COVID, which is approximately six days on average, but can be longer in some cases. There are a number of similarities between the symptoms that occur with COVID and flu during the early stages of COVID. And I would hasten to point out that COVID is a much more serious infection than flu. It tends to cause disease that lasts for a longer period of time, hospitalization rates are higher, death rates are higher. But in the early stages, the symptoms may be quite similar to those of flu, specifically fever, chills, lack of energy, cough, and body aches uh, can be seen either with flu or with COVID. Wearing a mask will reduce your risk for acquiring flu as it does for uh, COVID. This year, more than ever, it's important to get a flu shot because uh, for one thing, we don't want to overwhelm the hospitals and emergency rooms with people with flu while we're in the midst of a COVID pandemic because there may not be room at the end for people who need to be hospitalized. Um, and for another thing, we know that flu can be prevented by use of the vaccine, which is readily available.